don't tell the other biomolecules, but carbohydrates just might be my favorite. Okay, so there's four biomolecules, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. And as a future extraordinary nurse, you're absolutely going to have to know all four of those. So three of those we typically eat, carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins. DNA is found in everything, so we do consume it, but it's not considered as part of nutrition. Okay, so carbohydrates, these exist as monomers and polymers, and as we've been talking about um, carbohydrates, these typically have functional groups that look like OH. They have lots and lots of OH groups. They have names typically that end in OSE, like glucose, lactose, sucrose, etc., etc. And they are named, um, there's two different types, monomers, and then they have dimers, uh, like disaccharides, saccharide, of course, meaning, um, saccharide meaning sugar, di meaning two, and then the polysaccharides, which I'm running out of space there. So monosaccharides or the monomers, those cannot be hydroly hydrolyzed into smaller compounds. Examples of that include um, glucose, galactose, fructose, there's several hundred others. And uh, you can remember these by the mnemonic Mona gladly fruits the gallon. So Mona, like Mona, like uh, mono, gladly, like glucose, fruits, like fructose, that comes from sugar, and uh, galactose, gallon. Okay, so Mona gladly fruits the gallon. So example, I'm going to draw you, um, these two guys are isomers. So this is a great review. Two, three, four, five six right up there of glucose. So glucose, I'm going to skip the H's for simplicity. OH, OH, CH2, OH. Okay, so this carbon, of course, it only has three bonds here. It would also have another H attached to it. I'm just leaving it off for simplicity. This is glucose, and over here, still have that carbonyl, this aldehyde group right there, and instead of, ha so this would be considered like right, left, right, right. This, in galactose, it's right, left, left, right, CH2OH, just so you get an idea. They're not really attached to anything. A lot of times, these exist as cyclic compounds in solution, so they'll have all sorts of OH groups coming off of there. OH, HO, and if you get a modeling kit, you can go ahead and build some of those. Okay, our disaccharides that we're going to talk about next is a combination of two monosaccharides. Examples of disaccharides include sucrose, that's table sugar, maltose, and lactose. So lactose is that sugar found in milk that some people uh, cannot break down and so the bacteria in your intestines break it down for you, ferments it, makes a lot of gas, um, lowers the pH, makes it, makes you really crampy. That's the whole thing that's going on there. And these typically are made from condensation reactions um, between two monomers. So it would look like maybe this, just for an example, H O O H O H H. Okay, so instead of having the H there, this would be uh, condensed. We'd lose that water molecule, etc., etc., etc. So my mnemonic for remembering the disaccharides, the major disaccharides, is Diana, where's small, medium, and large. So sucrose, maltose, and lactose. Doki. And then polysaccharides would be continuing chains of, so instead of that H, we'd have another sugar there. Continuing chains of these monomers. So you, now you can see multiple cyclic 
structures, lots and lots of OH groups going on here, lots of condensation for polysaccharides. Some common polysaccharides include um, starch, cellulose, and glycogen, sometimes called animal starch. So in plants, they store glucose. This is a polymer of glucose. It's called starch. In our bodies, we store glucose as glycogen. And then cellulose is another uh, plant material. It's found in cell walls. It's very structural. So starch and glycogen are used for energy. Cellulose is used for plant cell walls. So it's structural. So we see a lot of carbohydrates. Um, so we're describing the function now. Lots of carbohydrates used for energy. Some disaccharides, not listed here, could be used for signaling as well, cellular signaling, or oligosaccharides a lot. Oligo means many, but not quite as many as polysaccharides. Um, and monosaccharides a lot of times used for energy and for building up some of these structures. So there you go, functions, cell signaling, uh, structures, energy, which makes sense because you got to eat it in order to survive. Oh, almost forgot my mnemonic uh, for remembering the polysaccharides. So that's poly starts cello gliding don't ask but you know like when you're playing cello the bow kind of glides over the cello it works for me if you can think of a better one i you are welcome to do so